Well, seven wildfires on Sunday alone. The Boise District Bureau of Land Management calls it a day of significant fire activity. With Idaho's wildfire season starting now, wildland firefighters are ready to keep the state's lands and people safe. Next Sunday marks National Wildland Firefighter Day. Ahead of it, agencies from across the country gathered at the National Interagency Fire Center in Boise to honor and remember wildland firefighters. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley was at NIFC earlier today with how they are doing that. Jude? Well, Doug, National Wildland Firefighter Day is a time to recognize all wildland firefighters and acknowledge their sacrifices. It falls on the Week of Remembrance, which is meant to honor and remember those who have fallen in the line of duty. This day allows us to recognize all those who work within the wildland fire community and show our honor, support, and continued investment into our personnel. Our wildland firefighters are the epitome of public service, uh, dedicated men and women who meet the call of responding to wildland fire. A call to help protect communities, livelihoods, and landscapes answered by wildland firefighters across many different agencies who gathered at NIFC, the nation's support center for wildfires. In the words of U.S. Forest Service Chief Randy Moore, it takes uh, all hands, all lands. It is an interagency effort and we can't do it without our partners or we, we all have to work together to make this successful. Some of those groups include the BLM, Forest Services and Department of Lands. And even military personnel can be deployed to fight fires, like Lieutenant Harwell of Joint Base Lewis McCord, who was deployed to fight a wildfire in California. We spent about 30 days there actually putting in fire breaks. We put out a couple spot fires and then did some land rehabs for, for some Native American land there near Quincy. How they operate out in the field on their patrols is very similar to how we operate, so very easy to mesh with them. National Wildland Firefighter Day is on July 2nd and is meant to recognize and acknowledge the hard work that wildland firefighters do. Wildland firefighting is inherently dangerous and there have been too many losses. It's our time to focus on remembering those who have given the ultimate sacrifice as well as you know, continuing that learning culture of trying to do everything that we can to be as safe and effective as possible in meeting the wildland fire mission. A mission that's been growing longer each year. We used to talk about the fire season. Nowadays it's the fire year. And so our firefighters are out almost year round and work in extremely long hours um, in very difficult situations. With temperatures heating up and the 4th of July weekend approaching, fire managers are stressing the importance of fire safety. They say about 90% of all wildland fires are caused by humans. Be careful, be wise, be safe. Uh, attend local fireworks shows as opposed to your own fireworks show in the foothills and other areas of wildfire prone. Thinking about where you're at and the activities you're doing. Uh, it's as simple as thinking about when you're having a barbecue and not throwing your coals on the ground, but to getting rid of them in a safe manner. Now this is the second year that National Wildland Firefighter Day is being recognized and Doug, uh, Governor Brad Little also declared July 2nd as Idaho Wildland Firefighter Day. A tough job, a crucial job, and we're thankful for the men and women who do it. Jude, thank you.